Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Justin, you guys are watching Tabletop Robotics. And in this video, I am gonna show you how to measure small voltages with the analog pins on the Arduino. And we're gonna do that by changing the reference voltage these analog pin uses from five volts to something lower like one or even half a volt. Okay, let's get started. So let's talk about the analog pins. So what these pins do is they take an analog voltage, usually by default zero to five volts, and it returns a number between zero and 1023 uh, as a binary number into the Arduino. So you can display it on a computer or use that information for whatever you want, but you don't always have to use that five volts. You can build into an Arduino. There is also the options for a 1.1 volt reference and a 2.56 reference. And you can also use the A ref pin right here, right above ground. It's this one to put in any voltage you want as the reference for the analog pins. Now these pins will still give a zero to 1023, but instead of a zero to five volts that 1023 represents, it's a zero to whatever you set. That could be 1.5, it could be the 1.1 or the 2.25 or any other number with the A ref. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Arduino software and I'll show you how to set the defaults and change it with the presets. Then I'll show you how to use the A reference pin after that. Okay, see you on the computer. Okay, so here we are in the Arduino IDE. Now to change the reference for your analog input pins, what you're gonna do is go into void setup up here on the top. You wanna type in analog reference. Now here in the brackets, what you're gonna do is you're gonna state the type of voltage you want. Now, um, I put a link in the description to check what voltages are available on your uh, Arduino. Different boards have different uh, voltage types, but I'm using the Mega, so right now it is either default by five volts, there is an internal uh, 1.1 volts or an internal 2.56 volts. So right now I'm just gonna do the 1.1 volt so I'm gonna, I'm gonna type internal 1v1, and I'm gonna do that. And that's all you need to do to set up the analog pins to have a max voltage of 1.1 volts. Now you could do the 2.1 or whatever your board allows, you can do different voltage. Some boards allow uh, even lower, some of them allow 3.3. Now you could use a 3.3 with the mega, uh, mega 2, but you're gonna to have to use a jumper and a resistor for that. But other boards have different things. You can always, the link's down in the description if you wanna know what your board supports. And that's actually all you need to do. Now, what I'm gonna do in this code is I am gonna set up so it reads values and it prints it onto the, the serial monitor. When I'm doing this code, I'm declaring two variables. I'm taking the analog in, and I'm also taking a temp variable. That's gonna be a float. That's gonna to be to figuring out voltages later on. So after that, I'm setting up the serial begin. I'm using a baud rate of 9,600. It's a pretty standard uh, baud rate. Then in my void loop, I am reading the analog pin. I am converting that uh, 1023 number into a voltage. Now, since my max is 1.1, that's why I put a 1.1 in. If it's like a 2.3 or whatever, that 1.1 will be a 2.3 or whatever. Now, I didn't use map because map doesn't give a float output. It only takes integers. It only gives out integers. So since I want to float back, I need to use essentially just a ratio, which that uh, which the equation is. Then after that, I'm just printing all the information I got out to the serial monitor, then I am delaying for half a second. Okay, so I'll show you that with the Arduino. Okay, so here I have a analog input pin hooked up to a potentiometer. Uh, this multimeter is also reading what you see on the screen, it's just what's actually going into the Arduino. But right now it's hooked up to 1.1 volts uh, as a reference, so 
if it's 4.94 it's over so it should be 1023 essentially doing an overload but if i start bringing this down which way is it is it this way nope. bring it down and i need to bring it down below 1.1 before we see anything on the arduino the multimeter as you can see is going down right now uh it's a little bit more and you will see it started to change now so you'll see the multimeter is a tiny bit off it's the multimeter it's an old multimeter and i've noticed it's been a little off lately so don't worry about the number just they're roughly the same so if i keep bringing this down you will see that it goes down with the multimeter Bring down to zero. Bring up a tiny bit. Now you may be asking, why would we even want a one point or one volt reference when we have a five volt? Now what this does, it gives you more accuracy with smaller voltages. So let's say you have a, a range of one to like nine one volt. Like let's say you had a range from zero to one volt or zero to like nine volts. Having a one point one volt reference can give you a lot more accuracy than if you had a zero to five volt reference, for example. So that's how you get 1.1 volts with the uh, with the mega. You can also get 2.56 or the five volt standard. So that's what's built into the Arduino. So now, if you want any voltage as a reference, you're gonna to have to use the A uh, A ref pin right here. It's right here, above, right above ground on the megas. And I'll show you how to code that in to the Arduino. Okay, so if you want to set up a non-standard reference on the Arduino. You're going to have to put an input to the R, uh, so the A ref pin up here. So what this does is whatever voltage goes into that pin is the reference for all analog input pins. So if you want that, so I mentioned earlier, if you want a 3.3 volt, what you're going to have to do is take the 3.3 volts out on the Arduino. You're going to have to put it through a resistor and back into the A ref. Now, um, you usually want to use a different power supply. You want a stable different power supply because the Arduino pins might vary just a tiny bit if you have like a voltage divider. I'm gonna use a voltage divider, but I suggest you don't. Um, another way you can do is use a diode. So you can always get a reference. One of those uh, things called xenodiodes, xenodiodes to get a reference. So you can get like a half ze uh, half voltage xenodiode or like a three point whatever voltage xenodiode. But right now I am gonna use a voltage divider essentially with another potentiometer. So I'm just gonna add this into the board right now. I'm gonna set this up. So hook up five volts, which is right here. Ground, which is right here. I'm pretty sure I'm check, yeah. And then we're gonna take one more jumper, put it in the middle, and we're gonna attach that to the A ref. And I'm gonna use this, uh, my multimeter to check the values on the potentiometer. So I'm gonna plug that in. You'll see it says negative four, just not just because these two are flipped. I'll just put this in. Okay, so there we go. So for mm -hmm. this a ref, I'm gonna put about uh I don't know, maybe like a 600 milliamps reference voltage. Now, this doesn't work too, too good with very low voltage levels. When I say low, I mean like probably under 0.4 uh, volts is kind of a iffy spot. So I'm going to put like 0.7, maybe 0.8. So let's bring this down. Long way. 2.5. Okay, 1.4, 1.8. Uh, let's do 0.8. Okay, so after we set this up, we had to do one small change to, to the Arduino code. Then we it should work with the 0.8 reference. So, so, okay, so here in the Arduino code, we're going to have to make two small changes. So the first change where it says internal 1v1, 
we won't have to change it to external. Just like that. And it will say the 1.1 volts as the reference, I'm gonna put 0.8. I'm gonna put 0.80 just to keep the float, just to keep the float number. And I could just upload to the Arduino and it should work with the 0.8 reference. So I'm gonna upload it now. Okay, so here I have the same thing set up, but with the 0.8 uh, analog reference. So with the multimeter says 0 0.92, I'm just gonna bring this down to 0.8 real quick. Five, three, two, one. And with the variation, you will all see that the Arduino is already detecting a little lower. But I'm just gonna bring this down even more. And you can see it stays roughly the same. Again, variation with my multimeter. Not really good with low voltages like this. But you will see that it's pretty much the same. So that's how you change the reference for an Arduino. So I just wanna go through some numbers here. So if you had it with a five volt reference, each integer of the 1023 is equal to about five millivolts. Now, if you had it with the 1.1, about one millivolts. If you had it with the 2.56, you wanna have it, uh, you have about three millivolts. And if you had it with the 0.8, you will see um, each integer difference is equal to 0.8 millivolts. Just, I just got, jot those numbers real quick down. So that's the end of this video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Was that my thumb right there? Uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, check out my Instagram, Tabletop Robotics. Links always down below with the link to the Arduino page I mentioned earlier. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.